All right, guys. I just woke up, and there are major events that are happening right now uh, in in relation to the current grant that I'm working on. So we have a new update here. Forget about the full scene nightmare. You already know about that. Uh, that event's over, but look at this. Nani? Nightmare loot table change. Let me read this. The horror isn't over yet. Nightmare fans will be pleased to hear that her loot table has been buffed a little this week. That might be a slight understatement, but... You'll notice that all normal drops now come in greater quantities, which will increase the income from each fight. There is also a greater chance to receive a unique, and the unique drops are now split across two tables. If you are strong enough to be eligible to receive a unique, you will also get some bumps to indicate how well you've done. The tertiary drops such as the pet are now static unless you're the MVP, in which case you have a 5% chance of getting one. Finally, the rarity scaling has been removed. Now a 1% chance of a second unique role will be added for every extra player after 5. For example, with 80 players in the group, there will be 75% chance of a second unique role. But they do explain this a bit further in their Twitter, so I'm gonna go to their Twitter. So this is how this breaks down, alright? So they basically split the orbs and the Inquisitor stuff into two separate tables. So the reason why there's two tables, it just means that for every kill that you do, there's a chance that you can see two different items. Yep, someone already hit the 1 in 1 million plus chance jackpot. Unbelievable. In a like a 1 in million plus scenario, you might see a maze and an orb on the same kill. That's what the two different tables would mean. Let me simplify what this graphic is telling us. So in order to get the mace, if you're soloing, it would be 1200 kills on average. And for the helmet, the body, and the skirt is 600 kills on average, individually. And for the staff, it is 400 kills on average. And for the orbs, it is 1 in 1800 solos to get either one of them. So let's simplify everything and uh, tell you what the average drop rate is for seeing anything. So the average drop rate to see anything is 100 kills. In a solo, that would be about 40 hours to see and get a drop. And for teams of like, you know, size 4 or 5, it's gonna take anywhere from like 10 to 15 hours to see a drop. Now if you're a main account, that's really good because, you know, whatever your team sees, it's a split, right? So you'll be making some profit every 10 to 15 hours. So it's not bad at all. Before it was like a lot worse. It used to be like almost double that. It used to be like 20 to 30 hours or something. So yeah, that is really important. The most important thing that you should take out of all of this for people that are trying to grind this boss for items or for money. And also uh, the other drops have changed as well. So the pet is now one in 4,000 flat, unless your MVP is one in 3,800. Um, so it's still the same if you you know go for the pet it's best to do in groups because everybody has a chance to get the pet so i'm going to show you my discord that i run for the community and one of my good viewers poo and we call him matt but he's uh he's really good with his maths so he basically simulated the chance of getting all the drops on on one of his programs that he uses so with these new changes the average amount of kills that it would take to get all the drops minus the Pets is 3,500 or so kills. Originally, it would take a bit over 6,000 kills to get all the drops minus the pet. So that is uh, almost 50% less kills, which means almost 50% less time. It would take about over 2,000 hours to complete previously, but now it only takes around 1,200 hours to complete all the items. So I want to thank Mr. Jagus Husky for actually taking the time on Twitter to gather feedback. He's the one that I saw, you know, out there asking for feedback. I gave him some feedback and there was a ton of other people that gave him feedback, you know. This was a public uh, chat on Twitter, so it was, you know, not just me being biased and everything, right. There's a bunch of people, mains and all that, from different perspectives giving him their opinions, right. I think this boss will definitely be more popular, without a doubt, right? Without a doubt. Yeah, some prices will go down, but it's inevitable. Supply and demand happens. But I think the items will still be pretty expensive. Alright, so how does this impact me as I am grinding Nightmare on this Iron Man? I might consider 3 or 4 items, but it's definitely too time consuming to get all the items. Considering all these items are just niche best in slot, there are no T-bills or blowpipes. 
So I just don't think I can afford to spend like 1200 hours on average to get like, you know, the orbs and the stabs and, you know, all that stuff. So yeah, I, I think I'm more optimistic, you know, to go for a bit more than, than what I said before. But that's fine because that's going to give me more opportunity to actually uh, work on some other goals on this account. You know, if you are a long time watcher of Iron Bar, you know I have certain goals like pets and, you know, certain rare items that... I work alongside whenever a major update comes out. So that'll give me more opportunity to work on those. And it's nice because I'll be very optimistic to see a lot of drops going forward, right? I might stay a little longer or actually it might be the same amount of staying time just because, you know, getting two drops back then is probably the same as getting four drops now, right? With the uh, drop chance being a lot better. But anyways, that's it for this video. I can't wait to show you guys the next video because it's, it's going to be amazing. Uh, it's going to be amazing next episode for Mr. Iron Bar. So, yeah, man, uh, rejoice. Great news to hear. You know, I think this is a win for everybody, Jagus included, for sure. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you later. Have a good rest of your day.